In this video, we will solve some hard problems on Cauchy integral formula and theorem. So let us start with this example number one. Integral c dz upon z cube into z plus four, where the c that is the equation of the closed curve is a circle mod z is equal to two. So how to solve this question? The very first point to note down is the denominator. We have dissimilar singularities, and that too we have the power of n here as three. So here we have to basically use Cauchy integral formula for the derivatives if this z cube term is inside the closed curve. If someone is inside, someone is outside, then you have to use the on ID technique. So this is clear up till now. So let us start with the first point that is the idea about the closed curve. Then only you can comment about the singularities inside or outside. The closed curve is a circle mod z is equal to two. Basically means your center is zero comma zero and radius is two. Now let's let us talk about the singularities. To get the singularities, put denominator is equal to zero. When you put denominator is equal to zero, you will get z cube into z plus four is equal to zero. This basically means z is equal to zero comma zero comma zero because the power of z was three here. So you will get three poles. Whereas this term is z is equal to minus four. Now you got your singularities. First it is at zero and there are three. Uh, you can say the power is three. But the second singularity is at minus four, and the power is one. So this is a simple pole, but this is the repeated pole. Now what's next? You have to check whether these singularities are inside or outside the closed curve. So the next step is we have to draw the closed curve. So draw the closed curve and check and check the singularities. Simple. So let us start. The closed curve was a circle with center zero zero and radius two. So this is the closed curve. And the singularity is that is zero comma zero comma zero. It will lie inside this closed curve. So this singularity is inside. Whereas z not is equal to minus four is outside because the radius of the circle is two. So z not is equal to minus four would be outside. So basically you have to use Cauchy integral formula for the derivatives. Now for the der derivatives, why the reason is why because the power of n here is three, and this z not is lying inside. One z not that is the point zero and one z not that is minus four is lying outside. So you have to use on ID technique as well. So let us start with the on ID technique. Once we separate using the on ID technique, then we can go for the Cauchy integral formula for the derivatives. So integral c dz upon z cube into z plus four. This was our question. What we have to do? Whatever is outside the singularity that was outside was this term. Take that in the numerator, and whatever singularity is inside, take that in the denominator. So numerator has the singularity which is outside. So our f of z is now one by z plus four, and this is the singularity which can be written as z minus z not the whole cube, which is z minus zero the whole cube. So singular singularity or singular point is at which uh, which point? It is zero. Correct. Here we have the singularity at zero, and f of z is this. So this is f of z. So we got everything. Now what's next? You have to use the Cauchy integral formula for derivatives, and the generalized formula is 2 pi i upon n minus 1 factorial into f raised to n minus 1 of z naught. So we are doing the substitution because n is 3. 2 pi i upon 3 minus 1 factorial into f raised to 3 minus 1 of 0 because the singularity was 0. So do the maths. It would be 2 pi i uh, upon 2, which is pi i, and into f double dash of 0. You have to find this term. What you have to do first find f of z, then find f dash of z, then f double dash of z, then f double dash of zero. So this much steps you have to do to get the value of f double dash of zero. So from the previous slide, f of z is equal to one by z plus four. Take the first differentiation, either use U V rule or use your technique. That is, if you have x raised to n, it can uh, the derivative of that is n into x raised to n minus one. Use that logic, still you will get the answer. And here x uh, would be this z plus four, and n would be minus one. So do the comparison, get the answer. Similarly, you can find f double dash of z, and uh, the final answer is two by z plus four the whole cube. Now z not is uh, zero, so do the substitution, you will get two by four cube, and the answer is one by thirty two. So the integration answer is this. Integral c dz upon z cube into z plus four that is equal to pi i by thirty two. So now we will see example number two. F of zeta is equal to integral c four z square plus z plus five dz upon z minus zeta. So this is a special question. I have told you how to solve this kind of question where zeta is present and the closed curve is an ellipse. Equation is given x square by one point five square plus y square by two point five square that is equal to one. 
find the value of f of i the second part is f dash of minus 1 the third part is f double dash of minus i and the fourth part is f of 3 so basically you have to find four terms four parts so let us start with this question the first point is about the closed curve always you have to find always write it down always take a note always you have to get the good idea about the closed curve here the value because it is the standard form of ellipse the equation is standard you can say directly the value of a is 1.5 the value of b is 2.5 and the ellipse will look like this because b is greater than a the first part is clear now we will see the first part of question f of i f of i means what the zeta value the singularity is i first point is that now the second point is you have to find straight away f of i so there is no need of the equation of f of zeta you can substitute directly and i have told you when to substitute directly and when to get the generalized equation you have to get the generalized equation if you need f dash of something you can get it uh, directly as you can see here uh, you can do direct substitution if you have to find f of something f of some constant f of some singularity here we have to find f of i you can do directly this is the type 2 type 1 was getting the generalized equation so i hope this is very important strategy please take a special care now what you can do is simple thing first point is f of zeta is f of i because zeta is given as i you have to do the substitution in the question so now you will get integral c 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus i dz now you have to ask yourself whether the singularity i is inside or outside the closed curve because this part this length was 1.5 and this side was uh, uh, 2 sorry it was 2.5 here and here it was 1.5 and is surely 1 that is this point this singularity is 1 correct it is 0 comma 1 it is inside this closed curve so you have to use Cauchy integral formula and according to that the answer is 2 pi i into psi of i because uh, this is actually f of z naught but here we use psi of z naught so do the substitution this is the psi value that is 4z square plus z plus 5 and z naught was uh, i so do the substitution you will get this as the equation and finally you can say the answer is 2 pi i into 1 plus i so now we will find the second part of the question that is f dash of minus 1 f dash of minus 1 is first you have to check whether your z naught that is minus 1 is inside or outside the closed curve very important point if it is outside the closed curve the answer is 0 straight away but if it is inside the closed curve you have to take a special care here minus 1 would be inside the closed curve up till now you know how to check whether the singularity is inside or outside because we have seen a lot of questions on this topic so first point is it is inside the closed curve the answer cannot be 0 you have to use the Cauchy integral formula but how to use that because here derivative is present if you look carefully f dash is present I have told you the steps are simple first find f of zeta and since zeta is inside the closed curve the answer is not 0 but it is equation of equation of zeta correct once you get f of zeta you have to find f dash of zeta take the first derivative then what you have to do substitute the value of zeta and then you will get f dash of minus 1 because the zeta value here is minus 1 so i hope you got the second part of the question i am finding f of zeta the generalized equation in terms of zeta so f of zeta is equal to integral c psi of z dz upon z minus z naught this is our format and the answer is 2 pi i psi of zeta if zeta or z naught is inside the closed curve and here this value z naught is actually zeta so do not get confused between this zeta and z naught both are same you should know zeta z naught any constant a this all terms are same whenever you see in the examination you do not have to worry about this term you should know that this are the singularity or the singular points now you have to do the substitution because psi of z is uh, present in the numerator which was 4z square plus z plus 5 after doing the substitution instead of z you have to put now zeta you will get 2 pi i into 4 zeta square plus zeta plus 5 you got f of uh, zeta in terms of zeta but you need f dash so take the first derivative the first derivative of this term is 2 pi i into 8 zeta plus 1 now put the value of zeta as minus 1 you will get the answer the answer is minus 14 pi i so now the third part of the question is finding the value of f double dash of minus i the very first point this singularity minus i this will lie inside the closed curve so the answer of the integration answer of this function is not zero it is something so what is the value again follow the same step get the value of f of zeta then find f dash of zeta then find f double dash of zeta and then put the value of zeta here it is minus i 
so you can see uh, from the previous step we got the value of f of zeta f dash of zeta we have to take one more derivative the answer would be 2 pi i into 8 because you are differentiating you are differentiating with respect to what you are differentiating with respect to zeta so the answer is 2 pi i into 8 and finally because there is no zeta term present here you can say even if i put zeta as a minus i i will get the answer as 16 pi i if it was f double dash of i still the answer was 16 pi i so i hope you got the idea how we have to solve this kind of question so the final part of the question is finding f of 3 you have to ask yourself whether this singularity is inside or outside the closed curve the closed curve was a ellipse so ellipse uh, is uh, with the value of b as 2.5 the value of a as 1.5 b is greater than a but z0 is 3 would be outside this closed curve so z0 is outside the closed curve the answer of the integration is 0 तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट